Ooh, I've got so many crumbs in my mouth. Hello everybody and welcome back to the second stream of the day. Today we are playing some more Night in the Woods. As you can tell here, May is standing here in a nightmare with what looks like a giant cat here. I'm a little bit nervous as to what this cat means or symbolizes. I've, I've had a lot of trouble um, trying to distinguish what these dreams mean and separate them from each other. What is this cat? Oh! Hello? Cat? Hello? I'm looking up at him. Can you talk? May here! Oh! Yes. Oh. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. I never thought to talk to anything in my dreams. Why am I just talking to this glowy-eyed cat? Are you... God? No. Oh. Oh, okay. Um... What are you? So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me. And I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. Well, you can't see God. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Like... I guess I was just asking because you seem so different and large and possibly godlike. I guess I gotta keep having faith, I suppose. Little creatures are explaining faith, and moments ago is the beginning. What is this guy talking about? And I am here, then and here now. And there is nowhere for God to be hiding. Well, what are you trying to say, big kitty cat? So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? I don't need someone to tell me that my existence is a monstrosity. What are you? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town? And it's all. Ugh, I lost it. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so. A great beast is walking through the sands, and they are climbing into the air, and now they are making a tear, a tear, and now they are gone, and now you are here. What? What are you talking? Hey, what is he talking about? A tear? A tear? Like what am I? A ripple in time? A wrinkle in time? Okay, I'm just gonna say what because I, I don't know what's going on here. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. You know what I'm saying, May? My head hurts. I don't know what you're talking about. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I'm showing you now. <gasps> what is he showing? Ooh. Okay. Beasts and bugs on a microscopic level. Would it look? What do you? Ah! Oh God! Oh God! They are blind, but they are seeing you, and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? Why are you closing? What do you mean? What do you mean closing the sky? Yes, I am closing the sky. O okay, uh, all right. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing between the stars, and I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping, and the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. This is really depressing! Oh! Joanna Vlogs, thank you so much for the super chat! And T. Meredith! Gloom, I love your videos, you make my day, and I love you so much, you make me so happy. Thanks, guys, for the super chats, I really appreciate it. So this is, this is getting quite existential, quite heavy. Um, he keeps talking about, like, 
me going in the wrong place and there's just darkness where I'm headed and something crazy is going to happen and I'm not going to be I'm not going to be able to escape it and none of this matters cuz it's all going to be forgotten. Not even the things beyond will remember. And now there is only the whole. So does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. Yes, it is! I need this question answered! What about my home? What about my friends? What about trees in the fall? What about the leaves? Like, what about- What about everything? Soon, they are dying. Soon, they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Wait, didn't you say that I had monstrous existence? Okay, so he's basically talking about, like... Well, I think he's basically talking about how... The things that make us up... Are blind, they can't see, it's chaotic, they don't know what they're doing, but somehow they all come together. But does that give it meaning when all these things come together and make living, breathing organisms who can think and contemplate their existence? I don't know. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Amanda Allegria, thank you so much for the super chat. I love you too, and I wish you all the best. Five dollars, thank you. Why am I here? And why, like, why do I appear to be the chosen one? Like, why, where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. Don't flatter yourself. There is no one to choose you. Is he basically saying that, like, there's no, like, meaning? Like, there's no, like, God? Or, like, what is he trying to say? This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. This is deep. This is heavy. This is scary. I feel like I'm like descending into a dark abyss and I'm going to be forgotten and it's just terrible. And I am remembering you. But not because I'm caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. <gasps> Before all of this is forgotten, Goodbye, little creature. No! I don't want to be forgotten! I want to mean something! Help me! I want to wake up in my bed! I want to say hi to my mom! I want it to all mean something! I don't want- I don't want it to be going nowhere! I want to believe I'm special! I want to believe I was put here for a reason! Mommy? It's just black! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, thank God! My bed! Ooh! That dream! Ooh! That dream! That was- that was an ominous dream! Oh, let's get up. Let's check our phone. Let's go on our computer. Let's let's do the mundane things that that carry us through life and distract us from from the big empty. Okay. <laughs> let's check our little computer. Here we go. Oh, and we got aha. Uh -huh. We got B. Morning at the pickaxe if you're in town center today. All right. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Bye. What about you, Greg? Hey, dude. At the old snail kid. Come save me from boredom supreme. Can you save me from, like, this black hole? I'm, like, my insanity? My descent into madness? Sincerely, Gregory. Thanks, Greg. I I've got a lot of heavy stuff on my mind right now. I don't know who to talk to. Ooh, away message. Planets are to be pitied, as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. Okay, that's just you being cool dude as usual. All right, I'm out of here. Oh, I don't like that one bit. Oh, I can't look in my mirror. Okay, so I'm not going to check how I look today. I'm just going to keep going. Maya Mimi 123HD. Hi, Gloom. Do you remember me from the last live stream? I do, and thank you for, thank you for two super chats in one day. I really appreciate it. Um, we're going to check the little clock here, because why not? Uh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. We need more mementos. We need to we need to remember the past and the meaning that it has, because if we forget it, then did it exist at all? Okay, we're gonna go. Should we say hi to our bird? Hey birdie boo. Bird! I kinda get you now. All like trapped and shit. I should let you out. You really should. But would he survive out there? Nah. Alright. We're going down the stairs, and we're gonna have our little morning conversation with Mommy. I look forward to this conversation every single day because she's always got something interesting to say. Hello, Mommy! Hi, Mommy, Mommy, Mommy! How you doing? Mom? Honey, are you okay? 
Ugh, mornings are tough right now. I've been having nightmares like you would not believe. Are you pregnant? No, I'm not pregnant. Not that I know of anyway. Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. I'm not pregnant. That's not why I came home. Sweetie, you can tell me I've been there. Mom, I didn't need to know that. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle baby. Oh, uh, that's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. Aren't you glad I'm here? Wow, that's a tough story though, Mom. So if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Like I haven't, I haven't smashed at all lately. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Mm, sure. Uh, please, mom. You know, if you did have a baby. Okay, mom, thank you. I'm out. Haha, <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about grandbabies. Oh, mom wants like some meaning in her life. It's fine, mom. I'll be back later. Are you sure we could even afford another baby, mom? Love you. Love you too. I'm out of here. Do you have anything else to say to me, actually? If it was a boy, you could name him Calvin. Oh, my favorite Overwatch streamer, no. Get out of here, mom. If it was a girl, you could name her trash baby just like me I'm a little trash baby Cordelia no mom why don't I just have a baby and hand it to you then if that's what you want oh okay bye I'm leaving it sounds like she would actually like that I'm out of here so funny how he walks eh Terry you smart you loyal I appreciate that oh, all right off I go oh I can jump on cars I never done that before okay off we go we're gonna go and visit B, and we're gonna visit our old Gregory at the Snack Falcon, but first, a little poetry. Hey, May. You all right? Why does everyone keep asking? Yeah, I guess I'm okay, why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I've been having some nightmares. It's just been a long week, that's all. You wanna hear a poem cheer you up? Yes, 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 I always do. Life goes on. It feels so long, but I report life is too short. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good one. Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. Really appreciate it. Did they cheer you up? They did. Thank you. Yay! Okay, I've had enough of you, Selmers. I'm out of here. Oh, my nose is running like you would not believe right now. I don't know why. I'm hot! Maybe we should turn on the air con so I don't get so hot my boogers melt! Okay, we're gonna go... Yeah, we're just gonna keep going straight. Oh, hi, old guy on an old motorized cart. What is going on in town? Last time I went on a little adventure with my mom and it was like kind of... I oh, thank you. This for Samantha, oh, I'm thank you. Easy. He brought me Kleenex. I appreciate it. All right, what's going on? Hey, B. Hey. You all right? You seem down. You always seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. B's always got something going on. Do you want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Ooh, what are you up to today? Wandering around town, or whatever you wanted to- no, screw that, not hanging out with B. Pink Strike, I hope you're having a great day, Cassie. Thank you so much for the super chat, two dollars. I'm just wandering around town. Have fun! Thank you. Superman2539, thank you so much for the super chat! Hey Cassie, love your channels, I'm a complete gloom addict now. I'm so glad to hear that, thank you so much. Ooh! Itchy on the face. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to the Snack Falcon because I just, I need more Gregory in my life. I've been spending way too much time with B and every single time I do, like, it's super depressing. Tia Meredith. Or is it T Meredith? Love you so much, Gloom and Terry. Thank you so much for the super chat. Love you too. 
You guys are on fire. If you want to party, go with B. Really? I do want to party. Thanks, chat. Okay, I'm just gonna see what Greg is up to, but I do want to party. What are you? Are you? What are you talking about? Sup, duder. Hey, how you hold up? Surviving as usual. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? Yeah, I met God. Well, I think it was God, or I saw some space bugs. I, uh, I want to like see what. I want to see what Greg says if I say something heavy like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, jeez. And they were kind of an asshole. Huh? Yeah, that's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushie? To replace the idea of a caring god? Like, that's not gonna make me feel better, Greg. I could throw in some chips. Haha, <laughs> I'm good. Thanks, Greg. So, what's up? Just checking in. Or you wanna hang out? I'm just checking in for now. I think I want to go with B. Pink Strike, thank you so much for the super chat. Two dollars. Also, you could collaborate with Lauren's side. I want to. I was actually trying to get her to do the uh, to do the Friday the Thirteenth with me, Jay, Raz, and uh, Char, but um, she was like visiting her dad or some shit. Okay. You have officially. You have checked in officially. I checked the. Okay, I've checked in here. I want to party. I'm going with B. I'm going with B B B B B B B B B B B B B B I definitely want to- I want to party all day. I want to see my ex-boyfriend. I want to do all this. Okay, we're going through. You like turtles? I like turtles. You should dye your hair like a dark blue. Uh, it's so hard to get colors out once you put them in. Okay, here we go. B, what's up? What are you up to today? Whatever you want to do, baby. It's cool. Or, sorry. It's cool. I'm busy. And Greg and Angus have my car tonight. So I'm stuck home anyway. What? I thought, oh, okay. See what they're up to, maybe? What? They're going somewhere or another. But I, th I thought you were, I thought we were in a party. I'm not. No. Okay, that's not happening. All right. All right, guess we're going with Greg. What is going on? Um, yeah, okay, so we're gonna go and see what Greg is up to. What if Greg doesn't want to hang out with me? I, I, I guess at that point, then I'll go find my mom. I hope someone wants to hang out with me who's my age. All right, Greg, let's go. Hook it up, Greg. Give me some good plans. So, what's up? Oh, fuck. I accidentally said just checking in. Whoops. I'll do it. No, no, no. Again, again, again. You wanna hang out? Yeah, bad. Let's roll. Yes. Here we go. Our boy. This is the monster we created. It's beautiful. It's just stunning. Yep. <laughs> Our boy is not looking good. Yup. Anyway. So, what are we doing tonight? I don't know. We have B's car. Oh, really? Really? We should go- We should go to Donut Wolf! Oh, yeah! I haven't been since I got back. I wanna go to Donut Wolf! I need some of those slammer cakes. They have pad cakes now, too, for some reason. Oh, I could- I could- I could definitely get with some pancake. Hey, Captain Donut Wolf. You wanna go to Donut Wolf, Captain? Uh, come on. Please? They got pad cakes now. Angus, is something wrong with you? Fine. What's wrong with Angus? Ride the chariot! To Donut Hell! Aloo! Why is Angus so mean lately? Legends. Just a couple of legends. Cassie, you make my day when the sky poops books. Ugh, hate when the sky poops books. And that's all the people I've kissed. Oh wait, is that me? Oh, and that's all the people I've kissed. That's two people. Kinda. One and a half. 
whatever, like your average is any better. Angus, you've really been quiet tonight. Uh, sorry. Are you okay? <sighs> We're gonna get pad cakes. <sighs> what is Angus's problem? Hey, Angus? Angus. Hey! Gonna get them flapjacks? Angus! Angus? <sharp inhale> Angus! Paging Dr. Jackson. Dr. Flap Jackson. Come on, some give me something, Angus. Please report to my belly. Okay, yes, pancakes, yeah. Dude. Dude. Oh. Oh, God. Damn. It! Whoa, do we get a flat tire? I'm pulling over. No, Donut Wolf! May? We'll get there. We'll push the car. Okay, you all stay in here. W where's he gonna go? Because it's a flat. You don't drive on a flat. Why? Yeah, why? <sighs> We're getting on Angus's last nerve. You just don't. It messes up the wheel or something. How do you know so much about cars? We could fix it. With what? We're gonna get some sticks? That's silly, Angus. No, I mean, people fix tires. It's a thing people do. It's a thing people do when they have a goddamn tire. Guys, why are you being such a dick? Oh, relationship problems. Why am I the one that has to be the responsible one? Guys, what may? Don't yell at me. <gasps> uh, I'm gonna wander. Fine. Fine. Okay. Oh, Angus, what's wrong? They're having some relationship problems over here. Um, super awkward. Greg actually, Greg actually told Angus to stop yelling at me. Okay, what can fix a flat tire? Uh, sticks? Rocks? Leaves? Wood? Dirt? Maybe I can whittle a wrench out of a log? Hmm. I wonder if I could, like, train an owl to do owl tricks. No, focus me. Okay, there's gotta be something I can do with this tire out here. Something I can interact with. Oh, what about... Jeez. Look at those woods. This is, like, the perfect place to dump a body. That's tough to find. Good body dumping woods. Everyone likes a good night in the woods. Could go see if there's any bodies in there. No, May, you gotta focus. Gotta focus at the task at hand. Eh. Okay, so we can't do that. So, what are we doing? Well, I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do. We could call someone. Oh, do we suddenly carry phones? Because there's magically a signal now? In this piece of shit town? Jeez. Okay, well... All right. Wow, Angus is in a horrible mood tonight. Absolutely horrible. I just want that. I just want some flapjack. What was that? What? One of the one of the angles of the face cam makes it go away. Oh, weird. Hey, dinguses! What? There's a spare tire back here. Oh, nice. That's one good thing. Anyone know how to, like, do the tire? Because <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I know how to do the tire. Can I help? No. Dude. May, you're not a bad person. But I don't trust you with any part of this process. Ouch! Angus definitely has issues. Jeez, man. Jeez. Now it's very awkward and very silent. Okay. 
We're at the Donut Wolf! Too bad you didn't get partially eaten by a shark. Too bad you didn't get serial killed. Too bad you didn't start doing drugs. And then died from drugs. We tried weed a while back. Too bad you didn't OD and die from it. Okay, are you two done? He's just, he's done with our antics. Like, I think that, like, Angus just wants to, like, grow up and get out of this town and he, like, hates me because I'm, like, Greg's old friend. Finally here. Yup. Aw, uh, yeah. That wolf of the donut. Oh, woohoo! It kind of seems like Greg is kind of not very self-aware with how much Angus hates me. Or maybe Greg knows, but is, like, ignoring it. Because I'm so tight with him. Yup. Oh my god, Angus, you're such a downer! Welcome to Donut Wolf, home of the Slammer Cake and now featuring pancakes with special Howlin' Mad maple syrup. How would you like to ride the chariot today? Hello, sir. Mighty fine donuts you got there. Why, thank you, ma'am. We'll take half a dozen gonuts. Dude, we should get chariot wheels. We got chariot wheels last time. I want slammer cakes. Actually, we are out of slammer cakes. What? How can you be out of slammer cakes? That's like half the reason to come here. Dude, just pick something. Uh, okay, we'll take half a dozen chariot wheels. Would you like them with eternity sauce? No. All right, all right. I'll take uh, six chariot wheels or six doom nuts. Ooh, I'll get doom nuts because we already getting chariot wheels. Are those new? Limited edition, ma'am. Well, they're about to eat be <laughs> they're about to eat be even more limited after I get to the bottom of this box. And no eternity sauce. Last time I had that, I stayed up all night digging a hole in our backyard. They found me asleep in the morning at the bottom of the hole. Yes, ma'am. Are we eating here? I guess. Whatever you want, though. Um, yeah, let's eat here. Fine. I'm gonna go find a seat. What is this problem? I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. What is going on? Okay, maybe I need to go over and talk to Angus. This is fun. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Okay, off we go. Oh, Angus isn't working? What the hell? Really? All right, I'm looking in the mirror right now. It's not looking too cute. <sighs> this isn't fun. This blows. Why are things weird? Why doesn't this feel good? Why is Angus mad at me? Everything's stupid. I'm so depressed. I came home because, like, I came home from college while I dropped out because I wanted it to be like it used to be. I'm going to break something. What am I looking at? I'm depressed. Oh. Oh, what's going on? What is this? Oh. Oh, I'm wasting so much toilet paper. Oh my goodness. Oh my, have you ever seen so much toilet paper being, I'm flooding toilets. That's what I'm doing. I'm breaking, yeah, life ain't right right now, boy. Oh, I'm scratching mirrors. Uh, oh, this is like an Etch-A-Sketch. Can we go up? No, we can just go side to side. That's fine. I'm a vandal. I vandalize things. That's what you do when you're mad. Oh, okay. Now what is this? Oh, get in the toilet. Toilet paper. I'm going to flood the shit out of you. And we're going out. We're committing crimes, baby. Yeah, we're gonna shove all the toilet paper in the dryer, so when someone tries to dry their hand, it's gonna be like spitball central all over them. Hopefully you wet the toilet paper. Oh yeah. Dude, stop! What the hell? Uh-oh. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Greg? Okay, fine. That was a dumb question. Okay, why are you doing this? Do I need a reason? Yeah, I kind of think you do. You're vandalizing the bathroom. Since when? 
When do I need a reason? What are you even, what are you doing in here? Getting you. I can find my way out myself, Greg. Fine. 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 C kind of a weird question, but did you go before you decided to trash the bathroom? Or... God, Greg, I didn't even have to go. Okay, jeez! Alright, this is all- I'm fighting with Gregory- Oh, I do now! We have a table for when you're done. Leave. Right, okay. Alright, I guess I have to use the bathroom. I know I don't want to be rude to Greg, it's so sad. Hey guys, I just had a poopty poopty. So, what's new? This is awkward. Hello? So! Awkward si lots of awkward silences today. Uh, how are you guys doing? Someone talk to me! Is anything new? Other than, you know, all this stuff that's been happening? Demo, thank you so much for the super chat. Five dollars. Hey Cass, sending you five pounds for a pedicure for Samantha since you stubbed your toe. Maybe Terry's favorite color. Love you. Do you like toe rings? Not really. But thanks for asking. Anyways, other than all like the ghosts and stuff that's been going on, yep. That's pretty new. Someone, talk to me, please. Hey Angus, how'd you get B's car for tonight? She was going to she was going to go to a party out of town, but I guess she lost her nerve. Oh. Okay. And Greg and I were supposed to do something. <gasps> Am I taking precious time away from Greg and Angus? This is some- we're doing something. I mean, I'm a third wheel here, but we're doing something together. Let's just eat. He does not want me here. Yes, please, let's eat. Woohoo! Oh no! Oh god. If God even exists, these donuts. Wait, you're not religious, right, Angus? No. Have donuts ever made you think twice? You know, like, they're pretty special. They're pretty magical. No. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll... I guess I'll... Ooh, I want... I want... Mm, I want that one. Is there anything else I get? So! How's our son working out? He's in our living room. He sure is! Pretty great, huh? Like that big disgusting robot that we built and put in your living room? You love that, don't you, Angus? Yup. Uh, okay, well, I, I want the pink one. This is awkward. This is awkward! Hey, Greg. You're awful quiet. Just eating. You've never had a problem talking and eating at the same time, Greg. Uh, this is so awkward. What's going on? All right. Well, I guess I'll. I guess I'll have. I guess I'll, I want this one. I keep getting all the donuts that are like, super far away from me, but they look so good. Oh, donut sick already. It smells, dude. Donut wolf. The robot thing. The robot you and Greg put in my living room. It smells. I, I thought you'd like it. I smell and you like me. Yeah, both of those things. Greg spent a lot of time and effort on that robot. Because he thought you'd love it. No, he did it because it was fun. Oh, okay, so we're learning some stuff right now. Angus, I had a feeling that Angus wouldn't like that robot that we built. Like, the things are getting pretty serious. Like, Angus is getting fed up. No matter what could happen, he did it just because it was fun. Jeez. I don't even know how Greg would react to that. I'm just going to take the one closest to me, because that's awkward. Holy. Ooh, I'm feeling woozy. I've eaten so many donuts. I want donuts so bad right now. Tim Hortons. Angus, you're being rude. I am being rude? We're trying to get out of here. Both working our asses off, and you come waltzing back into town, and suddenly Greg is breaking into grocery stores, abandoned woods. 
and like stealing car batteries, abandoned ones, and messing up our already crappy apartment. Hey, dude, come on. Wait, how is this my fault? <sighs> oh no, whatever, I'm eating. Oh, this is sad. I wish Angus would like me. The donuts are getting kind of woozy right now. I can't really see straight. I think I'm getting drunk from donuts. Ah, oh, cripes. I don't feel too. Oh, sweet cripes. I don't feel very... I'm falling into the sky. Oh. No. Don't go away, donut. So. Ugh. It was all weird colored. Joanna Vlogs, thank you for the super chat. $10. Why is your name Gloom? When you're always happy and always making others happy. Thanks for always brightening my day. Thank you so much for the super chat. I assume that was a rhetorical question. Thank you so much, though. I was just hallucinating, and it was all weird colored. Puke usually isn't that color. It was like multiple colors. Well, the donuts were colorful. Are you okay, Bay? Yeah, no, ugh. I have a really weak stomach. I'm gonna say no, I'm not okay. Cause I'm not. My mouth tastes like broken dreams. Guys, I'm really mad at you too. Why? I hate awkward silences. We've been having them all night. Am I like ruining your lives or something? Just tell me if I am instead of whatever this is. Do you not like me anymore, Angus? Or... Am I, like, making things weird, Greg? I'm gonna ask Angus who doesn't like me anymore, because obviously Greg does. What? No, May, I like you fine. Why are you being weird, then? Um, so... Angus, I'll take this. Thanks, hon. Oh, they're so cute when they talk to each other like that. May, remember my uncle? Sheep far about past the brittle, out by the interstate? Yeah, kind of. I guess I kind of remember your uncle. When I was like eight, my parents got sick of me. What? This is deep, guys. Sylvia Munoz, thank you so much for the super chat. Five dollars. Hey, Cassie, it was my birthday yesterday. I'm 20 now. Happy late 20th birthday, Samantha. And thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, her, her, she's talking about Samantha. Her name is Sylvia. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, like the super chat like went up. Yeah, thank you, Sylvia. And also, what was with Samantha? She was drunk. No, I'm just kidding. No, she wasn't. Um, anyways, when I was like eight, my parents got sick of me and maybe sped like a butt there in the summer. And I spent the whole time following him around. Well, sheep are cool. Sheep are nice. Sheep are cool. I had a stuffed sheep named Gordon. Sheep are real dub is what they are. One afternoon before my before dinner, my uncle left me by the pen, and for some reason, I opened the gate. Why? What did they do? What did they do, Greg? So a bunch of sheep basically immediately bolted, and I chased after, being all, "You dumbass sheep! Why are you running away?" You tried, bug. They ran across the field and into the woods. And there was this really steep hill that went down to the interstate. Oh. Oh no, I think I know where this is going. It kind of seems like the sheep got hit by cars. Pee wee Damo. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. Five dollars. Sorry about sending you money for a pedicure. I hope you weren't annoyed or mad. No, not at all. Thank you so much. Don't ever worry about offending me, guys. Oh. Oh no. What happened? Four of the sheep got splattered by a sabby truck. Sub ran back up the hill, but three baited over the median and across to the other side. And they just stopped. And I got to the bottom of the hill by the road, which was like covered in sheep guts and parts. Oh, okay. I just ate a bunch of donuts. And we just looked at each other across the interstate. Me waving my heads. Two ran back and got hit by another truck. Oh god. Did the truck stop? They totally didn't. That's probably illegal, just running over sheep. 
But the other one, he ran down the hill on the other side, into the woods, and no one ever saw him again. Jeez, dude. Uh, is that... What happened after that? He said, like, May said, hey, your tattoo. Oh, is it because it's of a sheep? Oh. I mean, I remember running back to the farm, crying. My uncle hit me a bunch. No. Yeah. There was some legal stuff, and they moved away not long after. That's awful for you, Greg. Poor sheep, too. But if I was in their position, I'd have run, too. And I want to be the one that got away. And I want Angus to come with me. I, like, failed those sheep. Just like, you know, everything has failed us. That's a bit... Not, no one even denies it, Bay. No one tries to talk you out of leaving here. And yeah, being the only queer people in town sucks. I'm here. You already left once. But I'm... back. I can't stay. We can't stay. I guess. So, Greg and Angus, they want to get out of here. They don't want to be... They want to be the ones that are perpetually in motion. They don't want to be stagnant, the ones who stayed, or the ones who got ran over. They don't want to just rot here in this town. They want to get away, and they don't want to go with me. I guess. And I love Angus. I love both of you. Obviously in different ways. Thanks for clarifying, Angus. We have a plan, and we're working our asses off to make it happen. Two guys, full-time, minimum wage. I have to grow up a bit. I did grow up a bit. May, you have to let me change. I wasn't trying to stop you from changing. You wanted to commit crimes. You wanted to build the robot. Sorry I was rude earlier. It's okay. This is awkward again. Another awkward silence. Oh, May's going back down memory lane. I don't know if that's a good idea. Remember the time we almost burned down the school? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Fireworks. Student council poster just whoosh! God, that was a good night. Soaked from the sprinklers, running through the parking lot, laughing our asses off. Haha, <laughs> oh my god, yeah. That was fun. Now this is awkward. That was maybe the best time in my entire life. It's one of the all-time greats, that's for sure. Kids still talk about it. That night lives on, man. Well, we can at least be legends. <laughs> Forever. David Jewell, thank you so much for the super chat. Two dollars. Can you say hi to Ava and Marina? We love your vids. Hi, Ava and Marina! Thank you for watching the stream. Well, tonight was a complete bust. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop apologizing, Angus. I'm sorry, too. It's cool. Feels like everyone's leaving me behind, though. And, and I have an idea. Oh, yeah? You up for one more big crime? You can come this time, Angus. And do a crime with us. I... <sighs> okay. Oh, Captain, Captain Criminal! Let's go! All right, we're committing one more crime. Angus doesn't seem like he really wants to, but we're gonna do it anyway. Oh, we're out here with the monster that we built that Angus doesn't like. Maybe we're gonna destroy it? I don't know. Woo! This is gonna really freak some kids out. Yeah, dude. They're gonna tell stories about this thing. They'll never know what it is or how it got here. You guys sure you're okay with it? Yeah, this is a good home for it. Leave it for the kids. Let it be a legend. <laughs> yeah. Mm, too bad it didn't fall on you, Greg. Too bad you didn't get your arm caught in the gears. Too bad both of you didn't get trapped in the car. Oh, Angus is playing with us! After a wreck. And explode all over the road. And have to be scraped up with a snow shovel. Nice. <laughs> Decent, Captain. Hehe. <laughs> You're evil, Angus. I know you're a little evil guy inside. All right, well, move it on. Yeah, walking away from me. 
Hello? Are you just gonna leave me here? Hello? Goodbye. Machine guy. Last chapter of my life where I'm having fun and I feel young and like... It pans out? This is so sad! Ah! Ooh. Is it haunted? I guess it works. Hi, Daddy. Talk to me, please. I've had a rough day. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm not, Dad. Okay. So, what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? I don't even know. Or, where to even start? I'm gonna go there. It's just... I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A, a ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And, 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 shh, kitten, take a breath. Okay, okay. Okay. Help me. Help me. Why don't you get some sleep? Uh, can I just stay down here for a bit, please? Dad? As long as you like. Okay. Are we- Oh, we're gonna watch Garbo and Malloy. No! Great. Malloy? Garbo? Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. <laughs> Good one. Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching this time slot. <laughs> very good. Very good jokes. These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't, go any don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, last time I was in church, they haven't invented religion yet. Hey, <laughs> good joke. You were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks, that's for sure. You could, Malloy, but it would be... A WAPA! Well, I don't get it. A lot of talk about god and something greater, meaning. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. Oh great, so they're gonna go play with the Ouija board. I'm sure that's not gonna, that's not gonna haunt them in their futures. Mom? Mom's asleep. Dad? Dad doesn't wanna talk to me. <sighs> oh no. Come on, let me go up the stairs. Let me go up the stairs. There we go. Let's just look at the crawl space one last time before we go to bed. So, so much stuff is going on here. I'd really like to know what is going on. I'm very confused. I want to know where all this is going. Like, it seems like there's something bigger going on. Is there a key? Ugh. I want to find the key. Sad you and Greg. What do you mean? Glad you're watching me, Jamie. Thank you for the kind words. All right, off we go. Off we go. Angus isn't gay? Yeah, he is. Is he? He's gotta be. Check the bookshelf in the morning? Sure. Has anyone sent me any messages? I'd really like to feel special right now. I feel like nobody likes me. Hello? Okay, here we go. Hey, B, are you up? Yes, ma'am. What's up? Nothing. Little sick from Donut Wolf. Yeah, that's why I don't go there. It's so good, though. How can it be so good and, like, so mean to you? It's a wild world, May. Anyway, I puked, and then we dropped a robot in the woods. Okay, I'm too sleepy to decipher that. Go to sleepy. I'm going to sleep. 
I, I just told you to. Okay, good night. Hey, man. Hey, dad. Sorry about, like, everything. Are we still apologizing? Can we be can we just be past that part? Huh? <laughs> Sorry. I mean, you know. <laughs> Night, Duder. Night, Greg. I'm sad. I don't know what's going on. Angus is with Greg. Yeah, of course he is. That's that's is what I thought. Bedtime. Yes. Georgesly. Goodbye. Can my best friend get a shout? Her name is Kara. Hi, Kara. Hope you're watching. Okay, so hopefully my dream tonight isn't... Did I not... I didn't dream? Okay. What's going on? I'm waking up. I was gonna end here, but we're going. What is going on? Like, I wanna know where this is going! Um, I'll definitely check the bookshelf in the morning. Hello, May. Pickaxe. At it. Me. You know the drill. Yes, I got it. Hey, kid. Snack balconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Yeah, I got it. Angus? Away message. Okay. Always with his away messages. Come pick up your flight. Give arrows flight. You mess with me, you mess with all of us. Going to see blank tones next week. Okay, that's that's real good, Angus. Good for you. Okay, let's check that bookshelf. Because you guys want me to so badly. The loading takes so long. Okay. Where's the bookshelf? Is it on this side? Eh. Do, do, do. We have any detective books out here. Ah, of course, of course we do. Ah, hmm, there's like something written inside this book cover. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Should I have to write that down? Chat! It seems like I should remember this. I don't have a pen. There's no way I'm gonna remember that. Maybe I can come back to it? Is this like, what is this? Hmm, yeah, okay, it looks like... No! I don't- I can't see that thing again. Okay. Hi, bird. Hey, bird! Things are, like, really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for my soul, bird. Please. I- oh. Hmm. Jeez. Feels like it's been years since I got back, and I saw this again. Alright. Write it down. Ah, oh, shit, I missed it, guys. I'm gonna have to, like- I'm gonna have to, like, back to it. That's the code to the save? Oh no! Hey Terry, any chance you can rewind the stream? Did anybody write it down? Did anybody at all write it down? Hi mom! Good morning! There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Okay, well I'm going to make an appointment with Dr. Hank. Aw, oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. I don't need to see a doctor. It is very much not fine, hon. I'm an adult. I can make that decision, though. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. Hey, someone got it! Whoa! Whoa, whoa! whoa. You don't have to, a bunch of people are saying you don't have to write it down. Oh, okay. Good. But then some people are saying you're gonna have to write it down. Alright, well, it's in the chat somewhere. Alright. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hun... I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Really? I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. I just gotta go do my rounds, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hon. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. Off we go! Oh, the chat, you guys know what you're talking about. Wait, should I go, should I go to the safe right now? You don't have, you don't need to write it down, idiots. Just check the safe. Okay, I'm gonna check the safe. We're going to the safe, yeah. We're going through, I really want to know what's in the safe, so this is actually good for me. 
I, I don't know if you guys memorize oh here we go i don't know if you guys memorize it but you guys got some good oh wait i know how to open this left 45 right 100 left 22 left 90 right 15. thanks granddad aha it's opening what the hell it's an old tooth yeah that's a tooth granddad put a tooth in the safe in the basement oh holy shit this is like one of the boss teeth like from that thing oh my god what am i gonna do with it i'll take it all right i got a tooth we got a tooth in our hands yeah we do selmer's he's a good poet if i die selmer should write a poem about it definitely we got a mysterious tooth good to go all right we definitely didn't definitely didn't need to write down the code if i see matthias i shall tell him you are his favorite sleepy ava all right, we're gonna go, oh, nope, we're gonna go down the stairs. Yes, we are, and then we're gonna go downtown. Gonna go visit our friends. Um, was, so, um, I remember you guys saying in the chat that, like, for yesterday, if I wanted to go to a party, I'd talk to B, but, like, it looked like she chickened out yesterday. Like, does that mean the party is tonight, or does that mean, like, this is a different pathway? Oh, oh God. Oh God. What do you want? Hello? Hello to you too, May. Well, I wanted to let you know. We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested is all. Yeah, definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man and medium build, and he was dead when it was removed. Oh, whoa. That means, it doesn't mean anything yet, May. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff is going on. I know! Yeah, you're telling me! Have a nice evening, May. Thank you. Get out of my way! Get out of my way, hell. I'm in doo-doo? Oh no. Oh no. Selmers. Hey, Selmers. Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah, just look sick. Just tired. Got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Heesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Everyone's telling me to take it easy, but I mean, can do. Wanna hear a new poem? Of course I do. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. It, it's true, they are like that, I guess. I got one ready for the longest night. Oh? Longest night, longest night, night so dark, but stars so bright. Oh, nice. Thanks, I'm feeling festive. Great, awesome. Off I go to the old pickaxe. Am I gonna hang out with B or am I gonna hang out with Gregory? I'm not sure yet. I'm glad you're liking the live stream, Squishy. Ooh, okay. Off we go. Look at this little guy with his little buck teeth. I haven't seen that one guy in a while. In a while. Well, I can't remember his name. He's like a little short guy that always like shows up everywhere. He's got the accent, you know? Hey, girl. B, what's up? Whoa. Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. I mean, I get I'm looking haggard. Boken! <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. Five dollars. I really appreciate it. If you guys don't know Boken, he is actually a good friend of mine. Thank you for watching my stream. Supporting me. Hope you didn't watch the first one. It's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, I guess, sure. Tired, had a headache for days. You should like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to like, veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine, I just wanna keep going. Doing stuff helps, it helps distract me. You know when you're laying in bed and you're like, mine won't stop going? I don't wanna do any of that right now. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Ghost? Bad. <laughs> I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning, and I feel like someone else is in my head. And I didn't have a dream last night, and my skull is going to explode. 
So, yeah, not good then. No. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Is that it? You done talking to me? What the hell? Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go see Greg. I'm glad that Angus doesn't hate me. What SR are you now, Bokan? You little grandmaster? Buy my mixtape? You buy my mixtape. If I made a mixtape, would you guys buy it? I bet you'd be good. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. How about you? Huh? Twenty nine ninety. What? Twenty nine ninety. That's Bokan's SR? I don't believe that. Oh, for this bronze GM. I was like, what the fuck? Okay. Gregory, what's up? Hey, man. Hey. How are you holding up? Uh, I got a splitting headache. I feel like I've barely slept, even though I've slept a lot. Jeez. Are you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Kill me? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> That'd be nice. Wake me up inside? I don't know. I'm gonna say kill me. Big! I shot you. Thank you. So, what are we up to today? Just saying hey. Or you want to check out that historical society? That sounds boring as shit. I don't know what to do. Should I go and see my mom or should I stay here? I don't know. What if May's the murderer? What if she's like hallucinating and like walking down the street freaking out? Yeah, okay, we're going then. If, if you want. You sure? You seem like really tired. Yeah, let's do this. All right, here we go. The historical society. Woohoo! Hey. Sorry we crashed. It's okay. Is your bike okay? <laughs> yeah, I can fix it. I'm handy. It's too bad you didn't get run over. Well, it's too bad you didn't crash into a train. It's too bad your corpse didn't get eaten by scavengers. Oh, it's too bad you didn't get eaten by scavengers alive. <laughs> so, that's it. Huh. Yep. Never been out here before. Me either. Oh, uh, I, I thought you had a plan. Who needs a plan? We're just breaking into an old house. I thought, you know, you weren't doing crimes anymore. Eh. I got one left in me. And a promise is a promise. Uh, is Angus gonna get mad at us? Thanks, dude. Best bros forever. Also, if we get caught, I'm blaming the entire thing on you. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Okay, that's actually pretty fair. Let's go. But, we're not gonna get caught. Right, okay. Crimes. Yep. It looks kinda, uh... Exactly like a haunted house. Yeah, it's kind of like the one in that old movie. Like the one on the cover of that book. On that book, Haunting of Arbor Street. We have an Arbor Street. Yeah, book spooked me pretty good as a kid. Big evil house. This place looks exactly like it. Well, you're looking for a ghost, right? I think it might be looking for me, actually. Oh, yeah, the other night. Yeah. Well, whoever whoever this is, maybe we'll get some info here. It's not like a person, dude. It's a ghost. Uh, right. Well, let's go find us a ghost. All right. Oh, my goodness. Hopefully, I hope nothing bad happens to Greg, because if something does, I'm going to get in so much trouble with Angus. Are you okay? Hurt my knee falling off the bike. Really looking forward to all the stairs we're going to have to climb in here. All right, well, so we're in the basement. Where are we actually, what are we actually looking for, by the way? The thing I read said that sometimes when someone stays late, they hear weird things in something called the map room and in some off limits area. Technically, all of this is an off limits area right now. True, dude, true. But we gotta go to this, we gotta go to this room that's off limits, and we gotta go listen to some weird noises, and hopefully we'll see a ghost. What, what's here? Dude, is that like two elevators? And not like old ones? Locked too? Jeez, 
Maybe this place is all elevators. Weird. Why would you have two? One for the ghosts, one for the normies, maybe? Private rooftop ghost party. With a ghost pool. I hope you get squished by the elevator. I hope your head gets stuck in the door and gets chopped off. I hope you fall down an elevator shaft. I hope you get trapped in a dark elevator filled with water and an angry shark. Holy crap, dude, that's... <sighs> that, that one is scary. Being stuck in an elevator with the water slowly going up. Ooh, okay, let's go. Uh, okay. Here we go. Oh, I don't want to climb all these bajillion stairs. Okay, what is this, the red light district? Looks pretty empty and dark. Hey, where's the flashlight? Oh, crap. I totally forgot about that. I, uh, dropped it when we fell off the bike. Dude. Shut up! Alright, well, I can see okay. Me too, I'm a cat. Let's look around. Ugh. I don't like it in here, it's spooky. Ooh, can we go up these? Closed for insurance purposes. Caution, stairs not for climbing. These stairs are original to the house, and are not functional at this time. What the hell are non-functioning stairs? So, are we just supposed to, like, levitate? Huh? Uh, I wanna go up the stairs, I can't. Okay. Ooh, okay. Can we take this elevator? Oh, check it out! Elevator number three. Looks like it's not locked either. Elevators for miles, dude! Yeah, this is weird. Should we take the elevator? Looks like we have to. Alright. We're going in! We're going in! Uh, okay, so this is the top where the stairs are. Uh, are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Why do I have to go first? It's your ghost! Okay, fine. It's not even real. What? Dude. Really? What? Do you hear that? What? The hell? What was that? I, I don't know. Is someone here? No. Lights off. Doors locked. No cars outside. Okay, so... Do you want to go back? Uh, do you have your knife? No. Do you have your knife? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we're staying then. Wait, is the assumption that I'm gonna stab someone? Is that the plan now? No, I mean, like, just in case. I mean, the basement door locked behind us. Oh, right. Crap. Gonna have to find another way out, too. Hold on, let me add that to the list. Map room, forbidden zone, find a way out. Yeah, this is complicated. Crimes. Crimes. Let's go. Okay, there's nothing that way. Let's go this way. Oh boy, oh boy. Kinda seems like someone's here. Oh. Huh. Is anything in here? Hello? Oh, what's this? Rachel, thank you for so much for the super chat. One dollar. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Oh, hey! Possum Maca Massacre, not Macassar. <laughs> oh, nice. You remember this, right? S sorta? <laughs> Really cool, though. Just like the whole strike thing, and how other people joined them, and even when the bosses sent in soldiers, they were all, like, united, and could not give one shit. Yeah, it's the best history, dude. Still makes me, like, proud and angry. Bosses are bad, dude. Bosses are bad. Weird how, like, we're all supposed to look up to, like, bosses. Just like in general. Even bad ones. Yeah, I refuse. Extremely ditto. Okay. Alright, nothing else in here. Boss's massacre, huh? Terry, are you a, are you a weeb? Okay. <laughs> okay, well, nothing weird here. Educational, even. I feel like we're getting smarter. My brain is too huge as it is, dude. Good a pop. If that happens, I'm leaving your headless corpse here. <laughs> They'll be so freaked out in the morning. Nice. Oh, Ronald, I'm gonna open this room for the day. Ah! <laughs> I say, this chap's brain appears to have burst. 
Bring the mop, won't you, Ronald? I never comment on anything, and here I am spamming the comments in a live chat. I freaking love this channel. I love you too, Aileen. Okay, so we're gonna keep going uh, this way. Oh, another elevator. Holy crap, is that elevator number four? How? Why? Granddad would be complaining about local tax dollars right now. What was that? Huh? That is not cool. Did you get chat? Did you hear that? Maybe it's like someone left a phone here and that's uh Yeah, probably that. Pro probably. Probably. Crimes. Crimes. Huh, okay. Going up. Going down. Going up. We're going up, baby. I'm scared to go down. Here we go. How many elevators are gonna be in this place? You're kidding me. Elevator number five. Hmm. Locked. I think this is as high as we're going without picking some locks, so... Aw, oh, crap. You're kidding me. Dropped lockpick stuff when we crashed the bike. You're kidding me! Okay. Sorry. Can you, like, improvise? Um, I need some pliers, and... And you, you got a paperclip? Uh, no. Who, walking around Earth today, is carrying a paperclip? Nobody. So, like, okay. Just so I got this straight now. Shoot. Map room, forbi forbidden zone, find a way out, find pliers, find paperclip. I think that's it. This is so stupid. This is like work. This is all work. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Didn't sound like a person. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Okay, well, let's hurry. Oh boy. Oh, maybe we can find a paper clip in here. What is this? It looks like some sort of... Oh, what's this? Oh, hey, it's my neighborhood. And the highway. No ham panther, though. Must be old. Oh, wait. We're in the map room. Well, let's be extra careful. Okay. Crimes. Crimes. Okay. There's the graveyard. And the building we're in right now. Spooky. Like we're being watched. Hmm, I don't like that. Hey, it's my neighborhood. Wow, there's a tidy you in there, I bet. Whoa, that's... Sorry, that, like, made me dizzy. A uh, dangerous. Uh, okay. Good old Towdy Sentry. Town center, the center of our town. Quite. Okay. Ah, I think that's the old food donkey. Ed the Woods, your ghost guy ran into. Yep. He sure gets around for a dead guy. That he does. Uh. What the hell? Why? Uh. What is going on? I'm a little... A little freaked out. Okay. Ah! These noises! These noises are scary! That creepy noise again. In this room. What is... Hey! Are, are, are these tools? Hey, check it out! A toolbox! Repair guy must have left for the night halfway through fixing him. And hey, some pliers! Oh, cool, cool, cool. I was thinking we'd never find them and just, like, starve in here. Yeah, there'll be people here in the morning. Oh, right. So, we need a paperclip. I'm sure there's a paperclip somewhere in this place. There's gotta be. They probably have, like, an office or something. Probably with, like, nine elevators in it. Probably. Can we take the tool? I guess we just took the pliers. What about this? Ah! Ah! Ew! Ah, it's alive! Jeez, that thing's ugly. Well, this was the source of the noise, I guess. Mystery solved. Okay, that's not as scary anymore. Wait. No. 
If it was making that noise, that means that someone was in here while we were walking around. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's maybe go. No, we, we have to find stuff. Oh, stuff? Dude, we're gonna get tasered or something. By a big bulking, uh, historical society employee? Whatever, I'm blaming you if this goes bad. Fine, do it. I'm not gonna keep running around for nothing. Fine. Good. Let's go. I'm sorry, dude. Me too. Jenny Jenny, thank you so much for the super chat. 50, what is that, S-E-K's? I love you, Cassie, but what did you do to Samantha? <laughs> I'm sorry. She's a dirty little thing. Kelly Ritchie, thank you so much for the super chat. Five pounds. You and Terry brighten my soul. Love you guys. I love you too. And you would buy my mixtape. Hey, that's what I like to hear. I never turn you in. Me either. Let's not rat on each other. Crimes. Crimes. Let's go. I'm scared. But thankfully, we can probably get to that. Uh, maybe we can like get into this elevator already. Hopefully. I guess we have to go down first. Suspicious Knight 21356. Thank you so much for the super chat. Two dollars. We were already here, weren't we? Yeah, I think we were. Um, hmm. This one goes down. That one goes up, or can you go down as well? I'm going to try to go down again. Oh. Going up going down. Alright, let's see if we can find a paperclip. There's gotta be a paperclip in here, around here somewhere. Okay, yeah, I haven't been here yet. Other people go on weird ghost hunting adventures. And they're looking for, like, cool shit. I guess I found an ancient skeleton body last night. Yeah, dude. At least we haven't met anyone dead yet. Okay, well, yeah. Let's find a paperclip. Suspicious Knight 21356, thank you so much for the another super chat. Five dollars, thank you. Alright, let's find that goddamn paper clip. Is it in here? Big ass stapler. Nope. Can't you can't use a staple? Donut wolf receipt? Ride that chariot, Nancy! Eat those donuts. Get real sick. Picture of a dang hound dog. Hmm. Picture of some dang kids. One of those little hula girls. Found one! All right, so we got the stuff. Let's get that elevator open and see what's upstairs. I'm gonna guess what it's like. I'm gonna guess it's like 12 more elevators though. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're, we're doing it, we get to see what's upstairs. I feel like someone's in here though. I'm a little bit terrified, but it's fine. Okay, we're going up. It's freaking 12 and I'm freaking scared. I'm scared too and it's 6.30 PM. Up we go. All right, we ready to go? Yeah, for sure. Gonna get to work. I'm gonna like, break out of county jail someday with these skills? Dude, what are you going to jail for? Probably something like this, honestly. All right, he's fixing it up. He's, w he's wiggling it with his hands. We're gonna see it upstairs. I can't wait to like solve it. Uh, dude, you need to hurry. What? I hear something like, I feel like I hear footsteps. Someone's coming. They're in the hallway downstairs. Crap, uh, okay, I'll have it done in. Hurry! Oh God. Ah! Uh, dude, the elevator. Shit, shit, hurry! There, I got it. Ah, let's go, 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 go. Stressful! Wait. Holy shit, are we in the basement? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, hey, that's where the elevator goes? This elevator? Yeah, so... This doesn't even make a lot of sense. Maybe, like, this elevator is for loading things for the map room? And, like, they use the other one to avoid the stairs? But even then... Dude, none of this makes sense. Uh, it doesn't look like whatever it is is following us down here. Whatever? Not whoever? Wh whoever. Are you coming around on this ghost thing? 
Ghosts don't use elevators. Why? So a ghost can walk up the stairs or something? But elevators are out of the question? Like, that doesn't make sense. Uh, so the question I have is, where does that one go? Uh, okay. C crimes? C crimes. Uh, okay. Uh... Okay, just gotta pick this. In the dark. Jeez, I'm sorry. I forgot- I, I dropped the flashlight, we got in a crash. It's cool, I... Shit. I'm gonna keep picking! You see if we can get through the back! Uh, okay. Uh... Is there anything to see here? Stuck! We're so screwed! I'm working, I'm working! Ah, someone's coming! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we can't go through that way. Hurry, Greg! Greg! It's locked! Something locked it! Someone. No! Can we go back upstairs? Actually, no. We're just gonna get chased around in a circle by whatever it is. Whoever it is. Dude! And... Got it! Okay. We don't know where this is gonna go! Got any better ideas? Dude, clearly I don't! Let's get in this elevator, we don't know where it's gonna go, but it's totally fine, and hopefully we're fine. Hey, this is upstairs. This is what I'm- this is what I wanted. They have an elevator that goes from the basement to the attic? With no stops in between? What the actual crap? Uh, quick, let's find a way out. Yeah, okay, but... Yeah, this place don't make no sense. What are you doing, Greg? I found a window. I think there's a fire escape. Window doesn't open, though. Oh? That doesn't help much. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Something's in here. Oh my god. What is this place? Forbidden Zode. Are they? Starting like a weird art museum? This is bad art. This is weird. It's art, dude. It's supposed to be weird. What the? No. This is familiar. How do I know this? What is that noise? It's scaring me! Shit, dude. The elevator. Why do I know this painting? Dude, come on! No, what? Oh, Greg just broke the window. He's trying to get out of here. The elevator's coming back up! Uh, uh, small tie. Hey, Cassie, thank you so much. I love you so much. You are so funny and make me so happy. I can always rely on your videos when I'm upset. I love you so much. You're so wonderful. I love you too. Thank you so much for the kind words. And thank you so much for the super chat. Five dollars. I really appreciate it. Hurry! Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. But it feels like- it feels like we didn't find what we were looking for, but I really like these stairs. Hi, Julia Schmidt. Ah, what the hell is that? What the hell just flashed me in that window? Greg! Where did you go? The steps just ended. You gotta jump. Ah! Okay. Ah! Ow. I hurt myself. I freaked out. I need- Ow. I wanted to get out of there as quickly as possible. You believe me now? I believe we almost got caught by a security guard or something. No, I'm telling you. I can, like, feel it. Okay, fine. Ghost. Go security guard. Sorry about all of this, Greg. You crashed your bike, broke through a window, and jumped off a fire escape. Nah, dude. Wasn't nothing. You're a really good friend, Greg. Psh! Crimes. Crimes. We're so cute together. I love him. What? What's going on? Am I hallucinating? Hello? Ah! Dude, what's wrong? Ah! Uh... I don't- uh, yeah. Dude, talk to me! I- uh, jeez, my head... 
We need to talk to everyone tonight. Okay, 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 can you get on the bike? I... I think so. Okay, grab onto me and I'll get us home quick. What about the ghost? Ain't no ghosts here. Okay, let's go. Oh, and poor Maya. She's so cute and she looks sick. Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have an idea of what's going on? There's a ghost that's in my head. Melissa, Melissa Fage? Melissa Fage. Thank you so much for the super chat. $8. Thank you so much. So either there's a ghost that's in my head, or there's a ghost following me. I think he's following me, guys. Like, it keeps showing up. And when we go out to, like, investigate it, or, or all of those times it could have just been a random person. No! I can, like, feel it! In my head! Why do you think I freaked out earlier? Mm -hmm. He doesn't believe- they don't believe me. None of them believe me! Puppies forever, thank you so much for the super chat, one dollar, thank you. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? I don't know, you have like sudden stress migraines, and you saw something that freaked you out, and makes you stress out maybe? I get migraines. And May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And, I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. Yeah, hell yeah we are! I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. Oh, Angus. I'll go. <gasps> Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Aw, oh, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that. But you said it better. Aw, oh, you guys, I have real friends! Brody Saber, thank you so much for the super chat, $2. Thank you. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Thank you for believing me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering up there alone at night. Close enough, whatever. Just pretend you care about me, okay? All right, let's hunt some ghosts. Hopefully the face cam isn't too annoying for you guys, like the one in the bottom left is not working right now, so I have to do four people with only three angles, but I'm trying to mix it up and make it not confusing. Haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. Alright. I got work in the morning. Let's catch us a ghost. Oh, my friends are coming with me and we're doing things! We're making it happen! Follow me, troop! Here we go. <gasps> How have I never been back up here? Fences work, maybe? Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just like old jug and trees and animals. Oh. What are you doing, Greg? What is it, B? B? Nothing. Nothing? It doesn't it doesn't look like nothing. Oh, I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. I didn't know you were a spiritual bee. That's kind of cute. Let's go. Welcome, Cadence, to the first stream. The first stream you've watched of me, that is. Alright, 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 alright. We're going up. We're having it. We are finally, since we started playing this game, we are finally having a night in the woods, just like I always wanted. We're going in. Oh, wow. 
Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this back up in here? I don't know. <sighs> What's up? Nothing. Just like all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night when you go to sleep. It's forgotten, you know? So? It's out here in the dark. It's so old. So old, so old, so old. It's kind of depressing, isn't it? Dude, hey, babe! I I'm fine, I'm fine. We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo, fun. We're going. I can't jump, which is weird. We're going in, though. We're, we're figuring it out. We're solving the crime. We're, we're solving the puzzle, baby. I got the tooth and everything. Hello? What's gonna be up here? You like guacamole? Me too. I mean, me too. Thank you, Enderscram, for modding, by the way. I really appreciate it. I love you too, bitch. What the? Huh? Oh my god. What the hell is going on down there? That does not look correct. That does not look correct, chat. No. No. Ah. Uh, hell, he's awake already. Anyone got any juice? No. No, guys! Ah, hell. Guys! Guys! Wait! Lerv, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake! I owned up to it! Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of Click Clack. Because of you, God knows what's going to happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Ugh, his leg's stuck. And it wasn't like you could have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you'd have called me, Lerv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, but I got family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Gianni and the girls. They will be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Ah, oh, hell. Dave, Rick, Benny, guys, you know me. All right, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know we got no choice. And I'd appreciate it if you stopped laying a guilt trip on us. Are they gonna kill Lerv? They're gonna kill Lerv! No, 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 no! Hold him still. No! No! Lerv? Ah! Hold still. This will go easier if... Ah! Alright. He's free. Free? They killed him! Lerv? Ah! Lerv. Ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish and... Ah! I... Ah, oh, hell. Let's get this over with. We should just make this easy, Lerv. God, his bone's sticking out. <gasps> the hell? Oh, they hear us. Shit! May? May Borowski? Run! Uh-oh, we gotta go. No, Lerv. We gotta know. Ah! Oh, can I jump? Oh, shit, no! Oh, no! No, 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 no! I jumped too soon, I jumped too soon, it's totally fine, we we got this, we got this. Jump! Jump like you've never jumped before! Oh my goodness, please, God, no, we gotta get through, they're running really fast, it's really scaring me, they're gaining on me, they're gaining on me! Ah! Oh my god! Oh no, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming! No! No, I don't think I can- Huh! Rombish, run! He's gonna kill you! Oh 
boy. Why is the morning music playing? Part four, the end of everything. What do you mean? What the hell is going on? Nice. Nice. Yup. Dude, you're way better at this than I am. Not this good at like, I'm not this good at like anything. I still play a lot. Got lots of old games at home. Collect them. Huh? I've never been over to your place. I don't take anyone there. Secret? I live in a tree. I'd believe that. What's going on? Okay, well... I'm controlling Greg now? So, is she dead? No idea. No response from her parents. That's bad. Maybe they're at the hospital? That's bad. It's not great. Jeez. Where's May? I don't see the dude. May! He was outside my building last night. Late. Any idea who these people are? You call the cops? Yeah, I called. They sent someone by, he was gone. Also, it's not illegal to stand on the street. I guess. Getting dark earlier. Oh. What's going on, Angus? Angus! Brownies, got sodas, he's just cooking? Angus! Hey, Captain! Hey, Bug. You making, like, three dinners at once? Brownies are in the oven. Thinking about making that lasagna we got and forgot about. We have lasagna? Or, are brownies and lasagna a good combo? Of course they are, are you crazy? We have lasagna? Yeah, way back in the back. I thought that was, like, the wall. Why are they talking about dinner? Is May missing? Nope. Hey, hud, you should go to sleep or something. You've barely sat down in the past 24 hours. Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Angus knows what he's talking about. Someone's gotta take care of you. Dude, let me take care of you. This. This stuff I'm doing, this helps me. Okay, that's cool if that's what you want. We're gonna make it through this. We're gonna make it through this. Love you. Love you. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're not gonna make out? Alright. Help! What's going on? You! I used to skate. I wasn't super good at it. I can skate. I am a skater. Skate and destroy! I use my powers for good. Oh. Good for you! Where's May? I could use like five naps. Five good nap. Five good naps in one nap bucket. Jump in. Hello? May? Guys, this is a bad situation. Yup. Yup. Yes, sir. Wait, everybody shut up. I hear something. Somebody's coming to the door. Who is it? Please! Is something gonna happen? What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? Hello? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everybody be very quiet. Crap. What the fuck is going on? What is going on? May? It's May! She's having a rough go. Having a rough go at it. Uh, how am I gonna get home? Hello? I thought we were gonna have a night in the woods, and I immediately got bonked on the thonk. May, my bay, My bay too. What the hell is going on? Okay, we're walking. 
We're getting somewhere. Hmm. I can't even jump. Maybe I got my shit kicked. Brea, Bria? This is my first live stream watch from you. I hope you're enjoying it. What is a thonk? I have no idea. Well, we know she's alive, right? Yep. Yep, as Terry says, if they don't die on camera, they're probably alive. Wait, that lurp didn't really die on camera, but it might have been too gory to include. Where's my house? Why are there so many mailboxes out here, but there's no houses? It's kind of creeping me out. It's kind of creeping me out a lot. Like, it looks like there should be houses here. Mom? Dad? Help me! Uh, I won't... Oh, I won't go any further. Why? What is going on? There's something funny going on around here. Okay. Is it the... It kind of looks like the church. It is. Hey. God is here. In this room. I believe that. Times like this we can call out and know that our cries are heard. <laughs> so true. While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May? That'd be nice. I've always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. Oh wait, fuck, that's Selmer's. That's not the old crocodile. I've been through it in the past couple of years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce, and I just think it's not fair that May of all people should have trouble. Where's the God in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Um, anyone else? I'd say something. May Borowski's always been a menace. And I call the police on her more than once. <laughs> I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I gotta say. Uh, okay. Thanks for your, thanks for your input, bitch. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Uh, speak for yourself. Sometimes folks in the wrong place at the wrong time. And I hope we find out exactly what happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night, down the end of the Center Avenue. Avenue. And someone was out there hunting illegally, and they got shot at. And May fell, and... She must have fallen off a million things a million times. All of it... All it takes is landing the wrong way one time, and... Uh-oh. Okay, so it, it kind of appears that... May's friends, like, lied to the parents about what happened, maybe? Or maybe May was hallucinating? I'm not sure. Uh, well, I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... Hey, hey, it's that guy from the beginning of the game. Why are... why am I here? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Not nah, supposed to be fixing the door. In here? Nope. Oh, okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. Is that janitor from the beginning? The house is gone. May! Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? Uh, May? Honey. Everything. Oh, no. This is some apocalyptic shit. Theory the janitor is God. Oh, that's a good theory. That's a good theory. He's just Morgan Freeman, just waltzing in. Oh, I'm in my bed. Hey. What's going on? Hello? Ugh. 
What's going on? Why are the houses gone? What the hell? I don't know. Oh, I'm not the kid I used to be. I'm an old grump now. I've seen some shit. I've been through some shit. But on the bright side, the mailboxes are here with the houses that they should be coupled with. So that's a little better than I thought it would be. But why am I hallucinating so much about the end of times? And what actually did happen out there? Hello? Oh, this must be me walking to... Greg's house, maybe? <gasps> crap! Greg! Holy crap, May? It's May! Holy shit, dude! I thought you were gonna be dead! Not yet. You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You could sleep in our bed. Waka waka wow wow. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. I don't like the void. I don't like the emptiness. I don't like being thirsty. Me neither. I'm taking your water. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. That is lucky indeed. I sure sure I sure hope she's all right. Mm-hmm. Both of you. Shh. No. What? It's left. It's left noisy. Shh. Yeah, it is. So, how well do you know this guy? We ordered pizza, what, twice a week? At least. For about by the highway since pastability's closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe, I can spot him through a keyhole. I don't trust that delivery guy either. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light, and I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake! It's him! The pizza guy! Pizza's here! Oh man, I could go for some pizza right now. Oh baby, let's go! Oh yeah! Oh, give it to me. Give it to me. Why can't I- Thank you. Oh. Oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that one bit. So, what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. I guess I'll finish my slice. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll take another. I had this dream, or like a vision, or I time traveled. I don't know. I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, mom. You scared, you scared us to death, honey. Sorry, mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. May? I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will! Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. What is going on? Oh boy. Oh fuck, I'm still in this terrible shape. Angus! You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So, I'd like puke my actual guts out. Ah, oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. Uh, Greg! Hold me! B! 
Somebody! I don't like this little beaky guy. Hey! Dude, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I guess so. Not really. I was like, really worried. You were correct. To worry. It was bad. Yeah. Don't ever get seriously injured again, okay? What about you? What even was that game? Werewolf Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I played this at Casey's house like years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. Good for you, Greg. Talk to me. Can we all hit the sack or gonna like wander around your apartment? Let's hit the sack already. Sure, dude. Hey, everybody go to bed now. Holy crap. See you all tomorrow. Are you sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. Oh, right. Okay, that's fine. See ya. I don't like you. Bye, germ. Better not go out infecting people with my story. Ooh, hi, Greg. Do you like cats and avocados? I love avocados. Uh, avocados. Hey. Hey, Greg. You awake? Yeah, I'm awake. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Back then you said you went all crazy. But like, that's not really a reason, I guess. I was playing that game where you like, dated ghosts? I remember that one. Had a hot skeleton. Alistair or something like that. <laughs> yeah. You were crushing hard on those dank bones. I was playing it like 24-7 until this one afternoon and suddenly like, something broke. It was just like pixels. Your computer broke? No, like reality broke. The characters on screen, like I'd felt like I knew them. But they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like, I just lost these real people, and this whole thing we had, it was just me, alone. And like, that realization, like, dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside, and the tree out front, I looked at it every day, it was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing, just a thing that was there, growing and eating and just being there. Like, all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by, and he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried, because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff, stuff in the universe. Just dead. Dude, why didn't you tell me? I don't know, what could I have said? This all happened like a day before that softball game. I mean, I was there in the stands. I watched you do it. I was so scared for you. When Andy stepped up, it was like... And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. That's all he was to me. Red shapes all over the grass. There wasn't that much blood. Oh god, I made him bleed all over the place, Greg. I wonder if he, like, wondered why. What he'd done. He was probably an asshole. No, dude. I didn't know him. Neither did you. Well, then you had to go to therapy. Yeah, Dr. Hank and his journaling. Dr. Hank's, Dr. Hank's messed up one of my tooth fillings. Yeah, he's not good at what he does. Which I guess is understandable because he does like everything. He's a psychiatrist and a dentist. I bet to ask you, did that journal shit, like, did it actually work? Kinda, sorta. It helps me, like, grab onto things and keep them in one place. Whoa. But since that whole thing happened back then, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes. Like back at that softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. College is for losers. Dude, just listen, okay? 
Sorry, dude. I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was the statue of like the founder or something, a really shitty statue, like all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dude. And finally, I got up the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez, dude. Something broke in my head, in my life. Dude, you should have called me. We could have come and rescued you. Would have like kidnapped you. I like couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't even know why. I didn't even come home for the longest night. I just stayed in my room, in bed. That's, that's horrible, dude. I, I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here and everything made sense for a few days. And then all of this and, and, and dude, dude, shh. You're gonna be okay. I'm so scared, Greg. I know, dude. We're all freaked out right now. You need to sleep. I'll be here all night. Uh, I... Ugh. Okay. He's just sleeping. May just really poured her heart out and that was Possibly one of the most interesting speeches I've ever played in a video game. Bye, guys. Love you. I'm going home. The hole in the center of everything. Am I going? It looks like I'm going back. It looks like I'm going back towards that place where I found that Lerv guy getting screwed. Yeah, I'm walking past the cars up the hill. I'm going back there, guys. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going back there. Oh, jeez. What is this thing? What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine, let's do this. Come on, you wanna you wanna go? Whoa. Whoa. Greg! Nice shot. I wasn't aiming for his shoulder. Arr, you effing shot me! Hey asshole, get away from her! Three of us, one of you. And none of us got bolts sticking out of us. I'm gonna fuck, fuck, fuck you. Yeesh. Watch your language. Uh, uh, no, he can't get away. No, we gotta chase him. Are you okay, dude? Where did... What are... Where did... Hey, jerk. Why the hell are you out here by yourself? I... I had a dream. This is all because of me. It is. You had to murder someone, Greg. Oh yeah, dude, all your fault. You definitely made these dudes creep around, follow us, and like kidnapping someone maybe. Yeah, you did it with your effing mind control powers. Dude, come off of it. He, it, it's in my dreams. Dude, dude, you don't get to do this, okay? I don't get everything that's going on with you, and I'm not saying it's not happening. I believe you, okay? I do, but you don't get to die on me. You aren't gonna do that to me, okay? But dude, I... Okay, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and say okay to that. We've been best friends since forever, you big dumb idiot. And even if this was somehow all in your head, which it isn't, I would still back you to the actual God's honest end. Jeez, me too? Clearly. Clearly we all would be. I shot a dude for you, come on! And if we keep talking like this, I'm gonna cry and... 
Greg. <coughs> Thank you. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess? No, I have to go alone. Or, you all wait here. I'll go. Why do I have to go alone? I don't understand. You all wait here. I'll go. Both options, like, they kind of make me go alone. Mm. I'm going to say you all wait here. I'll go, because I don't want to, like, force them. <sighs> oh, they don't like that. They don't like that one bit. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and tie him up or something. Can you walk, May? I, I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go die or something, but hopefully not. All right, finally. Here we go. This is where Lerv was murdered. Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it shut or something. Aw, oh, dag. You're right. No. He, it, whatever. I have to go down and I have to go in there. Well, then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bag, bag! All right, here we go, we're going in. We're going in, we're figuring it out! Oh! No problem, janitor, Jennifer. Wow, I don't know why I can't read. It's been a long stream, guys. All right, we're going through. This kind of looks like the area with the safe under my house. Jeez, spooky. I don't think we get to complain about spooky. We left our precious robot boy out in the woods. That's spooky. Nah, dude, we created a legend. What are you two even talking about? It's been a weird few days. Let's go. How slow are we gonna walk? Oh my god! Going through, we're going through. It looks like a, it looks like a like kind of lever thing we can maybe pull here. Maybe? Nope. What's at the end here? Why doesn't it, why doesn't this go anywhere? Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. Are we sure we wanna do this? Yeah, Bay, are you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <coughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I... I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Alright then. Down we go together. Alright, here we go. We're going down. Oof. That thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Oh, generations even. Are you our tour guide now? All right, we're just gonna go in. We're gonna solve the problem. Why does Greg have a crossbow? No one will ever know. We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored, okay? This is in the brochure? Really? I'm about to take a big brown poop here back. All right, have fun with that. Well, here we are. <coughs> May, are you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like, it's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something. Down there. You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah, we'll be silent terrors. We'll be ghosts. Off we go. We're going through. We're figuring it out. Cassie, listen to me. Why are you human? I have no... I didn't... I didn't choose. I was just born. Okay, we're going through. What if we, like, walked all the way to, like, the little crawl space with the safe by my house, and then I put the tooth back in, and it was like, good job. How long is this walking? Oh, good. Here we go. Oh, here we go. I, 
think Angus should go first. He's the biggest. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. In we go. This looks a lot like my dreams. It really does. How's Cassian playing and answering these things? I've got two monitors. Oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like, junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's it's through there. We're going. We're gonna see what it is. It's here. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Longest walk in the universe. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's just right through this really dark, dank, scary tunnel. We'll find it. Right when Angus's shadow disappears. Come on, Angus, hop in. There we go. All I can see is B cigarette. Oh, we're still we're still going. We're still going. Oh. <gasps> I know you're in here. What? Help. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple Ooh. Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself! Yeah, asshole! We're like five times scarier than you! Oh. Oh. Oh! Okay, there's a few more of them than there are of us. Who are you sick people? There they are. There, they're right there! I'm gonna kill them. Eid, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me! Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay? It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. The, then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are a part of this town. By family relation or by just being hard workers? Contributors. Um, okay. So if we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say in whatever. Oh. Oh. Wait. So you think that Eid... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I have seen this. Or have... Felt it? Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it? 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle, Vest Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole, copper. Abandoned, shoot, long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right- Okay, what the fuck, I'm bored. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator. Got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Toled busts through that wall and finds this place. Jim walks right into that hole and never hits the bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. It's what brought you down here. What? What is it? So what does this have to do with you? Or me? Or anyone? You gotta understand. 
In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone. Our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants, while we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church, but when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh, God, I think I know. Answer? What do you know? I, what do you mean? Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? One's who taken a shine into. It rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it, but they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time, after we picked out one, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger, and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked? What do you mean? First time? What are you, what are you talking about? first one was Tom Turner, who you believe me was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole he went. Huh? I know. I'm trying to be the cloaked guest. Oh, I got you. So basically the sacrifice, they're sacrificing guys in this hole because they think it makes them richer? Like what? Next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You threw them in the hole. Huh? They're... Feeding him? He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? Nah, just nah. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never picked no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh, God. Oh, no. How many people have died down here? Casey? You... That Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long. Before whatever said and what if, before whatever sad end he'd wind up at, we did him a favor. You... You killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know, he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin, right? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. So he was basically a drug dealer. So they figured he was okay to sacrifice. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? Oh, God. Casey's been down here the whole time? His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg? He was my friend. All right now, throw it down right now or I will shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Ooh, Greg, such a badass. Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bag, bag. You brought guns down here? Dangerous. This far in the woods at night. Basic safety. Of course we brought guns. I... I... Throw it down, son. Don't make it... Don't make this our time. Greg! Dag it. No! Uh-oh. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We are not monsters. They say. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old mills puff and smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you. Provided for a family. Bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying. Houses left empty. 
Ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile, a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. I can read. I'm reading. A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just shapes. It all became shapes to you, so you started murdering people? It all became shapes to me, so I started punching that kid. With a bat. I'm going to die down here. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Why are you telling us all this, by the way? I never understood why villains tell people wh why they're doing what they do. Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're, like, pitching us on this? Were any of you even minors back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially-like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? For someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying. That don't matter. Yeah, for sure. It does! This is real bad. This is insane! Why should we help you? Why shouldn't we just call the cops? What if some of them are cops? I'm gonna say, why should we help you? Because if no one's here to do this, remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back, the kids never come back, everything crumbles, Possum Spring bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead, and this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it when I was walking home. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we all, we know who you are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably get permanent damage. Shut it, Ede. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Edie, I swear to God. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you, but the truth is I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever, it's a piece of shit anyway. Hey. <laughs> I... I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. Great. My brain is in pieces right now. It's all just empty. Everything's empty. What are we gonna do? We'll crack that wood when we're far away from here. I don't even know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. Off we go, out we go. How are we gonna solve this doozy? <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, all right? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I... Yeah. And for what? I... I think I get it? Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but... Like, they lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which was what had happened, like, a long time ago. Or how they remember, or, like, picture it. And things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harvest, and... Sorry, I, I lost it. I'm losing my voice, guys. Um, that's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Agus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. Someone's coming up. Leela Hussein, thank you so much for the super chat. Five dollars. Yo, is the stream ending soon? I'm drunk. <laughs> it will. I, I'm pretty sure that the game is going to end soon. I'm pretty yeah, sure. There's like a half hour left in the game. Oh, really? Like that. Okay, yeah, we'll get I through it. Just looked at like a walkthrough and it seems like you're getting close. Cool. Shh, I thought I... Hello? Ah! Ah! 
Why? Oh. I'm mashing. I'm mashing. I don't know what to do. Help. Help. No. Oh, that's, that's one way to die. Shit. Oh, boy. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. I guess we didn't even have to tell them because they're all dead. Holy God. Is everyone okay? Bay! 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 Say something! <laughs> Why are we laughing so much? Why are we laughing? Ha! <laughs> Dude, it's okay now. We messed, we messed that guy up and he's not coming back. You're gonna walk out of this. So, how are we getting out of here? Shh, let me rest. Oh, okay. Sure. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. That's how I know these things. Hey, Agnes. Yeah? I love you. Ah. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered again, which is weird. <coughs> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. All right, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Come on, let's get through. Let's not die in here. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's let's go. Let's come on. Is there something I can grab? Please. Let me. Let me. Come on. Come on. Please. Eh. Mm. Come on. Yes, thank you. Thank you for every thank you, everyone. Jesus. Can't do that by myself. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. Mm. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. All right. Let's go! I look like I'm healthy! Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in one foot of water. Right. Right? 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 Ah! No! Help. I don't know what you are now. I think I knew before, but... You know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry got me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. And that's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college on the bus, I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. All the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over was over long before I got here. So long, hiding, or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt, bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again, and I want it to hurt, because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. <laughs> okay, I've lost my mind, but everything I'm saying is pretty true. Pretty amazing to be something, at least. <laughs> oh, this guy's chiming in with some symbols. You know, I can't understand you, right? More symbols. Ah, shut up already. 
I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it! And if not... Hello? May. Dude, are you okay? Uh, whoa. She got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just... Very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over here. Oh, good. Did you smell that? I bet he did. Oh, okay. Cool. I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm taking the steps to mental wellness. After all this time. And all this pain. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks like it looks old enough at least. Huh? Brochure. Learned it in the brochure. Hello. We're down here. Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I I can try to make it out. No, I can like Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't know. I'm like hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, oh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Do you mean endorphins? Okay, May. I'm seriously confused. Are you okay? Endorphins. That's what she meant. Ah, okay. There, thank you. Those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Up I go. Oh. Oh, fuck. Gonna have to do what I learned. Ugh. Gonna have to do what I learned in jumping school. All those dreams I had. Come on. Get up, girl. Get up. Get on up. Why can't I jump on this one? Okay. That's fine. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Come on. We're going. We're going. We're getting to the top. We're getting to the top, baby. We're doing it. Oh, fuck. I just hope I don't have to double jump, because I'm... Fuck. Yeah, I'm not not the best. I don't know. I, I, I know. I keep using Wast. I keep using Wast. Like, I keep using two different, like, control pads. And it's not good. Ah! Oh no, they're getting skinnier. Ah! Ah! No! Fuck! Everybody is depending on you. I know. I gotta make it. We're gonna make it, guys. We're gonna make it home. Oh my god, that one's so thin. Ah! Uh, I did it! Yeah! Oh. I'm here. I'm a cat. I did it. This place? Huh. <gasps> it's him. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. Yeah, we were all stuck down there. Thanks for coming late. You were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Let's just put it that way. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? Dumbass. Hey, May. Yeah. Was that Jerb? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here, I guess. In the woods? I guess so. <sighs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I bought some sodas. You're the best germ. I, you know, I didn't like you, but whatever. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. Oh, well, that... 
Sure. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small? Okay, that works. Thanks, Jerb. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. Bye. I mean, he's awkward. Maybe that's why I don't like him, but he seems, he seems alright. Well, there goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Jerm is good. Jerm is a good man. I think. He's alright. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. No, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're bladeless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray, okay? We're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. Ooh, Angus. Mm. Uh. What? They, like, killed people. They were, like, trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Alright. Cassie, there's something in your teeth? Really? I can't see. <laughs> ah. Hey, guys. Uh, are you there? Anyone? Hello? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell just happened. Easier for me to get it all out there. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. I'm like checking, there's something in my teeth now. I don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control of the world than you actually do. I just walked into all this horrible stuff that was already happening. We all did. And I guess that's really scary? Like, who knows what's gonna happen? But I guess you can, like, connect things. Or connect to things. Sometimes you need someone to be the thing you don't have. Even if it's something you're supposed to already have. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. LOL. Am I ever going to have a handle on what just happened? I kind of hope not. I just hope it's over. I want us to get free of it. I don't want us to just be a part of some horrible story. I want to grow like giant, and pick you all up, and carry you someplace safe. Sorry, I'm all rambling now. I just gotta believe there's ways to escape. Or at least move on. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever, by the way. P.S. Good, love you, bye. I don't know if better friends exist. We're like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry I caused drama between you and Angus, man. Angus, I give you Greg as a gift. Remember to water and feed him. And if you ever hurt him, I will kick your ass into the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all of that. Just needed to get it out there. Oh shit. Haha, <laughs> guys, I was just kidding about all that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off! Please. Did we... Hey. Let's go. Unplugging the phone, scratching the ass. It's a new day. Oh, I wonder if anybody messaged me back for my little speech last night. Oh, looks like everyone did. Hey, May. You okay this morning? 
I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice. Oh, no, not that. I'll see you there. Yeah, okay. That's nice. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really? You massive dork, lol. Bad practice today because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the style, kid. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Yeah, thank you. Lila Hussein, thank you so much for another super chat. Hey, Gloom, love these streams. This is random, but once again, I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian, but my dad really wants me to eat meat. What should I do? Follow your heart. Do what you want to do. Don't let someone, if it's like a moral decision, I think you should talk it out with him. I think you should do whatever you want to do, you know? Yeah. Cheers to Layla. Lila? Layla? Stop drinking. Collingwood's the best! You big dumb idiot. Okay. We're going. Ooh! Epilogue. Stars. Here we go. Oh my god, I have to play the bass again and I'm not feeling it. Mm. Ah. Hey, Granddad's Clock! I feel like this is like the last time I'm gonna say hi to everything. God, it's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. Bird! We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, Bird! Thank God! I should like reread some of these. I mean, I got time and the cozy months are coming. Ooh, I'm so optimistic. May, honey, is that you? Layla, it's Layla. I cheered Terry back. Thank you so much Layla! for the super chat. What's up, chat? Woo! What are you drinking, Layla? Yeah? I'm back in the kitchen. If you want to talk. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Let's go. Hey, mommy. Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here, so... Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, mom, or why? I'm gonna say why. It's been... I just... I... You're an adult, and you can do whatever you want. But you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw, mom! We need to come up with some ground rules, just because... Honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... I'm sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. Or... I don't even know if I can tell you. I've had a tough... Mom, I've had a rough year! And it takes me a year to explain it. Because all my speeches take forever. McGully Cuddies? What is that? McGilla Cuddy? I don't know what that is. Do you? Oh. Hun, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but mom, you don't understand. What happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? Because it's going to take a while. No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. I'm so hungry and I'm going to die. Dad can flip pancakes in the air. Ha ha ha, sure. Uh. All right. Are you going out today? Yes. Nothing you can do to stop me. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yes, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. Wow, that went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. Nice talking to you. I love you, sweetie. I love you too, Mom. I guess I'm hanging out with my parents tonight. Woohoo. I need to eat, but I need to finish the game. Same! Hey, you. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, Dad, why? 
I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live! Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give her, you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while. But here... I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? You know what this tooth is? No, really? You sure? Yeah, granddad must have had it from the old days. Aw, May. Thank you. Wow, looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. May! Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May? Yes? You come down and pick it with us if we walk out. I'll breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start for our longest night's plan. Gotta dig them out of the closet, see if they even work still. Oh, can I help put them up? We'll see, you're a small fry. Dad. Dum dee dum dum dum. Okay, bye dad. Off I go. Sally Sung, thank you so much for the new sponsor. I really appreciate. Is this my last time speaking to you, boy? Hey, May. Sup, Selmers. You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take these pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right, yeah. Well, if I ever have a headache, or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Oh, you're not gonna tell me a poem? What the hell? I mean, I guess I like that things are changing, but it's also scary. Summers is a female, I know. Just because she's a female doesn't mean she has to sound like a girl. A little bitch. Um, okay, we're gonna go to the old, wait, no. Um, B isn't at the pickaxe, so we're just gonna go straight to the snack falcon. No, pickaxe. Not today. Hey, you! Are you God? Hey, it's you. Yup, yup. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix-its, whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So, what's it like being home again? Things like you remember them? Kinda. No. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen, and I feel like I should have woken up today and, like, have learned something, but I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. And sometimes... You gotta wait to see what come of it. Huh? Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Puppies forever. Thank you so much for the super chat. One dollar. Thank you. Not if I see you first, me. Ha ha. Okay, get out of my life, you idiot. Wheeze. Alright, get out. You weirdo. How did you know my- Wait. How did he know my name? 
janitor. Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor. I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. Maybe. He seems pretty happy. Come on, game. Give me what you got. Holy crap! Uh, ah, a taco place! This is the best thing that's happened to this town since they got rid of all those snakes in the diner. The owners were religious and they called in a preacher from one of the holiness camps up the hills and he got in there and he yelled at the snakes to leave and the next day after he died they just set traps and no one knows where they came from or why they moved in but they're long gone now. God, life moves on, huh? I was so mad when possibilities closed down but we got a taco place now and they deliver! I can dig it. I'm gonna eat the shit out of some of those tacos. Oh boy. Now hiring? Maybe I can get a job! So you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess that means holding this sign out in the snow. Uh, it's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow in the sky falling. Oh, how are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. Oh, there's not one person on God's earth who doesn't like tacos. Bad news. My ex hates tacos. Good news. They're now your ex. Hehehe. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Good. Off we go! Oh yeah! God damn it, I don't want to do band pra- I do not want to do band practice! I like taco- Have you guys ever like been to like the expensive taco places where it's like five to six dollars per tacos? I hate those places. Because the tacos are so good, but then the bill is huge. Well, look who's alive and well! Is that a surprise? Nah! Just sees like relevant. Well, look who's live live. Well, look who's live and well, you too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You want to get out of here? Do bad practice? Yes. Unfortunately. You ready to jam, Terry? What? Are you ready to yeah. jam? Geez, that door never gets any less stuck. Worse when it's cold somehow. I'm so ready for the cold weather. Ugh, I hate winter. Winter's good, actually. Nobody here yet. Bunch of slackers. It's like they don't even want this band to succeed. <laughs> Where would we even play if we wanted to? Hmm, I have no idea. Go play those VFW hall shows at Fort Lucene. Oh, wow, those were fun. We'd be the oldsters now. Yeah. Things are changing. Here we go. So, uh, you okay? I guess. Not, uh, yeah, I'm getting better, I think. As much as I can even tell today. Yeah. Hmm, suspicious. Do you think those guys can get out of the mine? I guess we're gonna find out pretty quick. Did you notice anyone missing today? I don't know. But I don't think a lot of those guys were people I knew. Never could tell. Never can tell? This kind of thing happened to you often? Oh, all the time. So, like, I don't really get whatever happened down there with you and the whatever that was. Oh, the murder cult of dads? <laughs> the cosmic horror? Yeah, which one? I'm gonna talk about the cosmic horror. Okay, yeah, that. Um, it's old. Something older than anything I can think of. And you can feel it inside. And it's in a hole outside town. Yes. No. Like, the thing in the hole is... Jeez, I lost it. It's okay. It's like a porch light that's on, and there's all these bugs around it, and the light goes out, and then there's a hole where the light was, and it's like what happened to me way back. Like, I was telling you on the couch last night. God, that was last night? Seems like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's play and fucking end this shit. It's gonna be weird when you're gone. Well, I mean, you've already been gone. And you've been gone at least once since you got back. At least. I died a little getting that battery the other day. See? You're a godder. Like, last night, 
It feels sometimes like there's so much horrible past, still trapped in the historical society from the other night. <laughs> I just realized, just realized I know what that painting was. What was it? Never mind. But it feels like the past can't just leave. And it's still here. And you're like swimming in it. And you can't have a future. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. That's it? What was our biggest crime ever? Almost burning down the school? Bringing a horrible robot son into the world? Probably that. And then leaving him to haunt the woods out by the highway? Actually, it was probably trapping those dudes in the mine and leaving them to die. Ah, it was self-defense. All of that stuff. Like, today's different now because that happened. We're different. Yeah. So, like, things change. I guess. <laughs> they killed Casey. Yeah, they did. They killed Casey. I'm trying not to think about it. Do we, like, tell his parents? What do we tell them? I, I don't know. Is it worse to let them think he's alive? Or tell them he's in a bottomless hole, in a, in a tunnel, in the woods, with a bunch of guys who are going to be dead soon. And we should tell them. We shouldn't tell them. Ah, uh, we should tell them. They deserve to know. Okay. You get to figure out what we say. I'll let you know if I ever come up with anything. Sounds good. I think it's important that we know, at least. Makes it... mean something? I don't know how to say it. I think we might be the only things in the universe who care about anything. Or who even can care. Do you think any of this means anything? Or like, meant anything? Uh. Does it, Gregory? What's that noise? Oh, hi. Hey, babies. Hey, hud. Babies? How was work? Jeez, I'm sore from like everything. I ran into like a zillion bushes the other night. Basically, my body hates me right now. Gotta do stretches. So like, can I move to Bright Harbor with you guys? It's kind of a big question, sorry, but... Uh... Um... I thought you like couldn't leave hope. Uh, you guys are home enough. Or maybe I'll just visit for a while once you get settled in? Of course. Yeah, dude, that'd be rad. Hey, guys. Yeah? Thanks for saving me last night, like, repeatedly. I feel like they want to, like, move on in their lives without me. Not even a problem, dude. We'll save you as many times as it takes. What the hell is that noise? Oh, hi. Hey, B. Hey, B. Mm. What? Are you gonna say something? I don't really know what to say. What in the hell even happened last night? Ugh, don't ask me. Nothing, nothing at all. I don't, don't ask me. Can't we just, like, play a song and get pizza and think about this tomorrow? I had a dream that the world was ending. Song and pizza, please. All right. Sweet. It does, dude. What? Answer your question like two minutes ago. What question? What were we even talking about? Hello? Son of a bitch! That's it, though. And hey, I didn't have to play a song. No. Hey. So, that was Night in the Woods. That was very, very, I must say, it was very well written. Um, there was a lot of, like, uh, I guess busy work in it that kind of pissed me off. And there was, like, I feel like there was a lot of um, dialogue that I feel, like, needn't be there. But maybe it's just because I was streaming it. Like, if I was playing it by myself, then I'd probably just, like, sit there and, like, really soak it in and all enjoy it. And I, like, was trying to do that as much as possible. Um... There were certain parts of it that I thought were super interesting, like when she was saying that um, instead of people, she was seeing shapes and like she just didn't see any meaning in anything and she started to feel more like detached from everything. Like, I don't know why that like just kind of resonated with me.
Like, just trying to find meaning in things so that you can care. What the fuck? Did it end? Yeah, it did. It is the end! It is the end! Thank you so much to everybody who watched me play Night in the Woods. I really enjoyed this game. I think it's dope. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I'm sorry it took me so long to beat it. Um, it's a big one. It's a big game. It's a lot bigger than I thought it'd be when I started it, but I'm glad that we played it. The story is great. I love story-rich games. Um, people have been asking me a lot if I'm gonna play the next Life is Strange. I will. Um, I also have the next chapter of Sally Face, but I can't play it yet because I'm not allowed to. I would like want to try the beta so bad, but I'm not gonna do it until you guys can watch. That was a really nice game. I think so. Yeah, it was cool. What's Thanks up, for Tim? talking to me in chat, guys. That was fun. That's oh, fun. you were talking to my chat? Yeah, I was in there. Excuse I me. Deep, I was deep in there. You're deep in there. What yeah. the hell? What the heck? What the heck, Terry? I'm sorry. It was fun. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the stream, though. I'm going to end here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Romina Colombo. Here is your shout out. Thank you so much for my mods, my super chats, my sponsors, everybody. You guys are all so amazing to me. I really, really appreciate you. I love you so much. Terry loves you too. Love you guys. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love you. I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Peace.